What's going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're just going to be talking face to face. No really Cardano news in this video. If you missed my video posted earlier, Cardano Daily number 11, tons of awesome stuff in that video. If you want to check it out, it'll be linked in the description and on the screen. But today I want to talk about stake pool operating and being a stake pool operator. So recently I have decided that I'm going to be making my own stake pool and I do have some technical experience with computers. I do have a diploma in computer programming, a two year diploma. So I do have some uh, you know, knowledge about programming and how to actually operate uh, some network infrastructure. Not super confident in my you know, Linux abilities, but I have been working on learning how to start my own stake pool. With this so far has came a number of learning experiences in the past two days. And luckily, I have had people to actually help me through this process already. Obviously, I'm not quite there yet where I can launch a stake pool confidently on the main network um, and have it run and make sure my delegators are getting the you know attention they need, <laughs> essentially. But I want to talk today about running a stake pool and what I've done so far. So first off, a huge shout out to NA. SEC stake pool, that's our ticker symbol. Alex runs a stake pool along with a partner of his, but basically he has helped me through a lot already. He has gotten me into this, and every time I have a problem and I can't get it, you know, fixed within an hour or so, two hours, I'll go over and I'll ask a question in the Discord that Alex has created full of stake pool operators, and people are always willing to help. And I'll leave that Discord link down in the description and Alex's channel along with Alex's stake pool if you want to check any of those out in the meantime while I'm trying to get my stake pool up and running if you want to support Alex that would greatly be appreciated from me now running a stake pool is not as luxurious as it seems as someone with you know some technical background in programming and network infrastructure um, and IT even I have trouble understanding a lot of the things about running a stake pool so I have been learning a lot but I just want to let you guys know if you're planning on running a stake pool and you've never done IT based things before, it's going to be very difficult for you. And you are going to have to learn a lot of things that aren't just stake pool related, but that are general IT, Linux based, and just network infrastructure based. And then best practices of security and so many different things. There's a lot of things to learn with operating a stake pool. If you've never done one before, I wouldn't just go straight into it. You definitely should be somewhat experienced and that's why I someone who's not super experienced but somewhat experienced am still going to be going into test network on Cardano to basically run things through many times over before I go to the main network and launch my actual pool where you guys can delegate to now so far I have went live on test network with my relays and producer node but I haven't registered to the test network stake pool so if you go and look up my stake pool in the test network you can't see it I have not registered it and I have not done the you know registration process for a stake pool yet I'm still working on that I actually destroyed my you know progress and restarted just to make sure I have that first bit down of building the nodes which the stake pool operates from so that's where I'm at right now. I'm about to today go back in with my freshly destroyed servers and put them all back together and get to where it was yesterday, essentially, uh, for the third time. Now, I'm learning, and I want you guys to know that stake pool operation is not a simple thing. It's definitely not passive income. And as my friend Alex mentioned from uh, NASEC stake pool, uh, 99% of it is marketing and I have the marketing kind of side down with this YouTube channel and all of this super amazing people supporting me saying that they would even delegate to my pool and that is the hard part of running a stake pool um, successfully and profitably you can run a stake pool quite simply if you want to hire someone to run it for you but to get that ADA in your pool and to get enough ADA to get rewards every five days for your delegators and for yourself you're going to have to have anywhere from 300,000 ADA to 1.2 million, which I don't have between those two amounts myself personally, and most people don't. So you need to attract a lot of people to your pool. And one of the best ways to do that is through YouTube 
or through you know Twitter or a mission statement. There's a lot of different ways to do that, but there's a, one of the best ways is definitely YouTube. You can see a lot of the YouTubers have pools that make a lot of money. And Alex from Any Crypto has talked about this many times on his channel. If you want to check his channel and his stake pool, I'll definitely leave them linked down in the description because honestly, without him, I would be quite lost. And I definitely wouldn't have thought that I myself could get into this and really take an interest in it. At first, I was really scared, but looking forward now, I really enjoy so far <laughs> what I've done. It is a bit nerve wracking and a bit stressing, uh, a bit brain intensive, but I'm getting there and I'm taking it slow like the uh, people at Cardano like to do. Slow and steady wins the race. And I will let you guys know more about my progress as things move forward. And the second I launch that stake pool on the main network, I'm going to be super excited and more excited than I already am right now. But I'm trying to take my time to get there to make sure I do things right. I just wanted to leave this stake pool operators guide to starting my experience so far video out there for the internet to see hope you guys enjoyed it hope you found it somewhat useful and one last thing before we leave that i forgot to add when you're minting a block um the, the person with the stake pool to be profitable they have to mint a block every epic between 300,000 and 1.2 million ada so the marketing side of things comes into play because if you can't get that much ADA, you're not going to be profitable. And I just want to mention that before we leave, thinking about operating a stake pool and you don't think you can get between 300,000 and 1.2 million ADA in your pool delegated, then it's not going to be profitable. So unless you have a marketing strategy or some way to get people in there, please keep that in mind. Just want to be fully transparent. Uh, Alex from Any Crypto actually made a video on this too, but you know, his channel way better channel than mine for stake pool operators and people getting into stake pool operation definitely lots of good content over there and i just want to keep plugging in because he's helping me so much and his content is really good for people who are looking into stake pool operation anyways i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching it's been your friend jack peace out